Podcast. Hey guys, it's Gina here, and today I'm going to show you how to tie a tie on your boyfriend right in front of him backwards. And not only is this a super cool and unique skill, but really it's showing that you care. And the reason why, ladies, you know, we have dresses, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things that can change up our look and make us really stand out in a crowd. For a guy, there's only a few things. Probably their shoes, a watch, and the tie, the most important part. The tie. It comes in so many different materials, silk, wool, different styles, skinny, medium, and wide. But the most important part of the tie, the part that has the most value, is the knot. And that part you can't buy. That's the part the guy has to work hard to put together. But I'm going to show you because us ladies are going to do it for them, which makes it really special. First thing you need is something to practice on. Today, I have my mannequin, Jeff. Usually, I would use a wine bottle or a teddy bear, but I've got this great live mannequin to show you guys today. Starting with the length, it really depends on the height of your boyfriend or man. So if they are handsomely short, then you want the two ends close to each other. Or sexily tall, the shorter end would be right about here. Or just perfect, like Jeff here, then I'd have the shorter end right at the middle. Tying the knot, we're going to be doing the forehand hand knot, which is most versatile and, luckily for us ladies, the easiest one to do. You're going to take the wider end and put it over the thinner one, loop it underneath, like so, and then back around in front, in through the middle and out through the top, and as like my daddy used to teach me, you take the rabbit down the rabbit hole. So, the forehand hand knot is actually naturally asymmetrical, so don't worry about the shape of that triangle. Right now, the asymmetrical look is actually in, so it's a cool, hip new thing that you can do with your tie. So, that's basically it. That's the forehand hand tie. Now, if you look at this one, it's pretty plain and it kind of bulges in the middle right here. I'm going to show you a secret that adds the perfect little touch to it. So, if we're going to start back over, we're going to make a little dimple in the middle, which really gives it character. So, as I'm pulling it tight, I'm going to stick my index finger in through this middle, pinch it with my middle finger and my thumb. I'm going to inch my way in, making sure that as I pull tight, that little dimple appears. So, see how I'm doing it? I'm just tugging it inch by inch. And there we have it. A little dimple appears in the middle. Now you're going to take the skinny end, Hold it underneath, look at your boyfriend as you snug it up towards his neck, and there you have a four in hand knot ready to go. Ladies, you know that part in the movie where the lead character is putting on their tie and they do this little wiggle? Well, there's actually a reason behind it. And that's because if you hold the thinner part and you start from the center and you pull, it actually goes off to one side. So what I like to do is to start on this end over here and pull straight to the middle but also give it a little wiggle just for some show. Folding down the collar, there's actually a right and wrong way to do it. So, the best technique is if you push down the tie with your fingers, then take the collar, fold it from the back first, then to the front, and the tie will still stick out a little bit. So the important part is to use your fingers and tuck it in. So as you send them off, that's the difference that shows he's a man rather than a boy. And the very end, we're gonna tighten that tie right in the middle, and there you go. And Jeff likes to keep this open because he thinks he's cheating. I do. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure this back part doesn't wiggle around back here, just put it through the loop, and there you go, it's all secure. So, this is how you do the four in hand tie. Ladies, remember practice, practice, practice. The knot is the most valuable and important part. So you want to make sure you don't mess it up so you get it right on the first time. Thanks for watching and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Now guys, if on the offhand chance that she does mess up, don't fix it in front of her. Wait until you're outside and fix it later. She's going to love it that way.